Now we have learned that when a magnet is inserted into a solenoid, a current will be induced. And from Lane's law, we learned that the induced current will produce a magnetic field that will oppose the motions of the magnet. And now, let's see how this happened and how do we use this to determine the directions of the current. Okay, let's see this one. We have a north pole here. And then, when this pole is pushed inside this solenoid, Initially, there's no current, eh? but if the pole, this north pole is pushed inside this solenoid, then current will start flowing. When current starts flowing, it will generate another field. So one field here, there's another field here. Now this field, this field that produces, will oppose the motions of uh, this magnet. How to oppose? Okay, it will produce a north pole here to oppose the motion. Because we know that North Pole and North Pole, they will repel, right? So it will produce a North Pole here to uh, repel the motions. And then if this is North Pole, by using right hand grip rule, okay? By using right hand grip rule, you just imagine that this is your hand. Okay. And then uh, this is your finger. Right, this is your fingers. And this is the thumb, right? This is the thumb. Huh? Because the right hand grip rule says that if this is a north pole, the thumb point to the north pole here, okay? Yeah. Or the the thumb point to the directions where the poles come out, the pole, the flux come out, the flux come out from the north pole and move into the south pole. Huh? So this is the north pole. So if this is a north pole, then the current move up, right? Because the other finger shows the directions of the current, huh? the, okay? All go up. Huh? So the currents move up. Okay, the current move up. So let's erase this. So we know that the current move up. Okay, so if North Pole push into the solenoid, this one will become North Pole, and this one will become. And if this one become North Pole by using right hand grip rule, we know that the currents move up. The current move up, and then here it move down, move to the left. And if we move to the left, then the galvanometer will deflect to the left. It will deflect to the left. Okay. How do we know which pole? You push the north pole into the solenoid. Here will also become north pole because you want to repel the motions. And after you know that this is north pole, then you can use the right hand grip rule to determine the directions of the current. Okay. And if you know the directions of the current, then you know the deflections of the galvanometer okay then how about if this north pole north pole is already inside then we pull it out now if you pull it out again the current will be produced and the current produced will oppose these motions right it will produce a, a magnetic field to oppose this motion now how to oppose to oppose if you pull it out then it will produce a sub pole here okay if the North Pole is pulled out, this part will become the South Pole. And we know that South Pole and North Pole, they will pull each other's right, so that it resists the motions. So if for this one, you want to push in, it will produce a North Pole here to resist, so that you cannot push in. So the North Pole and North Pole, they will repel. If you want to pull out, it will produce a South Pole to pull you back. Okay, because North and South, they will pull. Eh? So we'll pull you back so that you can pull out. So it will always resist the motions. You want to go in, he don't want to let you go in. You want to come out, he don't want to let you come out. Okay? So if you want to go in, he will produce the same pole to repel. If you want to come out, it will produce a different pole to pull you back. Uh, that, that is what's stated in Lane's law. So when the magnet is moved towards the solenoid, the pole of the solenoid is always the same as the pole of the magnet. You push in, always same pole to repel. So when the magnet is pulled away from the solenoid, the pole of the solenoid always the opposite of the pole of the magnet so that it can pull you back.